Nate, what have you done? I'll go ahead and click the, pull that for you. That's it. Keep his head in the water. John, when you keep the net in the water, get his head, John. Get that fish. Get that fish. Get that. Good job. Third time. <laughs> Did that with the first one, too. That's a 10-pound fish, Nate. Nate, for first time ever striper fishing, you've had two fish up to the boat and caught them both, and both just fell right off the hook. Good job, Nate. First time ever striper fishing. Good job. I thank Captain Greg. Yes, sir. We're out here summertime and it's limit four per person a car leak and you're supposed to keep your first four. Because of the heat, these fish will die usually when you let them go. So we're gonna keep our first four. We'll throw that one in a box and we'll make sure it gets eaten. Right. Good job. Can you help with that, Sam? You, I mean, Chris, can you net that for him? Hey, Nate, come up here. Nate, come catch this one. Oh, there's a screamer right here, buddy. Yeah, call the mother on the hole. They're hooked up all around though. Good fish. Mike, turn your boat. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. 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 he's down in the water. Lord. He's just heading in the water. There's a net there. Another one of the net. He's just in the water, Nick. He's just in the water. Where's the hook? Where's the camera? Boink! <laughs> Good job, man. Crank down to it. Crank down. Now pull up. Now pull up. That's it. I'm gonna let you come on back. Walk on back. Hey, walk on. You got another hoss. Come on back. Jump up here. You can jump up. Take this rod, John. Don't pull, pull it nice and easy. Remember how lightly that fish was hooked before, Nate? Picture this one's hooked the same way, just barely hooked. That's it, nice. Just keep the line tight and keep his head in the water. Oh, he's doubled up though. Uh, no, we passed over him. They're on the history though. Pull them, pull them right to him. Just you pull it to him is what's gonna happen. Get that one up. Scoop him up. <laughs> we got fish sticks, baby. Fish sticks. <laughs> oh, we're on them now. They're on the bottom. All right, guys. I want to take a second to show you the rig we're using. This is a two watt owner hook. M U T U. I don't know how you say that, but it's a owner two watt circle hook with five foot maybe a little longer 25 pound fluorocarbon to a small barrel swivel with two beads these are two glass beads always use glass I know they're expensive but the glass makes that nice clicking sound with eels I'll add you know more three four five so they really click when that eel pulls plastic makes almost no sound at all now we're using 25 pound fluoro today you can see it's kind of thick it's higher than what we need I would prefer 12 14 pound maybe but we ran out so we're using this 25 today weights wise all we do is we start everything with just beads and i i hate weight i hate lead i hate everything about it it kills the way the bait looks scares fish it's just man it's a necessary evil i get it but i try to use as little as possible so i'll start with just the beads and then with down lines we got to add some weight right we're moving chasing these schools I'll start by adding split shots. We don't need a slipping weight in this system here. So I'll start adding a few. We ended up with four today because we were kind of moving around quicker than normal. You can use your egg sinker if you'd like. You can put a slip sinker on there, but these fish are taking the line down and getting hooked immediately. So they don't need to feel the, the sliding weight to relieve any pressure, you know? So the clip down weight does fine. And that's it. Really simple. The rod bends down. As long as the rod bends and stays bent, we crank it. Set that circle hook in the corner without yanking and go. You may notice this is offset. Nowadays, I really don't use offset personally with me and my guys, but when you have people that are a little less experienced, that offset can save the day once in a while because if you accidentally yank, you know, you get excited and yank, that offset may save you. If it's not offset and you yank, you'll pull that hook clean out. So if you're with guys who are a little, you know, a little green, the offset 
it's probably not a bad idea to go with. You kind of get the best of both worlds a little bit. But if you are with guys that are seasoned vets and uh, really know how to be patient, fend that offset out or buy some non-offset circle hooks. That's it. You bring it to him, Nate, okay? Let me throw a mark here, Greg. Daddy, already better. All right. Fish on the back. Fish on the back. Come here, Chris. Drop the net. He got this guy. Dump that fish on the back. Large amount. Large amount. Come out of there. Guys, free pool. Me somebody. Nate, come catch this fish. Nate, come in there. That's a hog. Got him. Yep, reel up. Reel up. Check the bait and drop it down. And Nate's got one. Oh, Mr. Greg is hooked up. Come on, Nate. 
Ready, John? Hold on one second, Greg. Y'all doing? They still here. <laughs> what y'all doing? All right, I cut it off. Go away. <laughs>